All right, guys, we got Krusty running. So uh, now we gotta try to get him to move. Uh, and part of that is putting the throttle cable on. So I bought this. There's the part number there. This is the original uh, throttle cable. And this here goes on the pedal. This black piece actually clips into the pedal. So I'm probably gonna have to cut this off and try to get it on here. I don't know, we'll see. Let's open that thing up and take a look at it. All right, there we go. This end goes to the pedal. This end goes through the, to the throttle body. So I'm probably, probably gonna have to get some washers for the front and back of that. It's pretty big there. And actually that thing goes in this hole. Probably gonna have the same problem right here in the firewall. It's got that square hole in it as I got right here. So I was looking at this and maybe I can uh, cut this off and drill it out and try to use it. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, we're back in my garage here. Uh, we're gonna start start by cutting this piece off and try to get this piece off and see what we can do with that. All right, that's the piece I need for the gas pedal. Just gonna pull that cable all the way out there, and then I'm just gonna take this piece off. And put my little plastic piece on there. So there's that part. Alright, so I don't know if any of this is going to work, but uh, I got to drill a hole in that big enough for this thing to fit through. See if the thing can fit in there. It do. Alright, so I'm just gonna get a piece of sandpaper and sand it down smooth. I got a little bump right there. That one's kind of messed up. So I'm gonna sand them down smooth. And then I believe that will work. That's for the fire firewall side. I think that's gonna work. My gas pedal thing, I believe that's gonna work. So now I just gotta figure out the uh, throttle body side. All right, so here's the piece that was on the 5.3, the original throttle cable. Uh, I'm gonna try the same thing with this piece, but it is a little bit smaller, so not sure how it's going to turn out, but we're going to give it a try. Looks like it might work to me. Let me get some wrenches and snug these down a little bit. Of course, I ain't going to tighten them real tight because probably just crush this plastic.
All right, this cable is way too long. But what I think I'm gonna do is, uh, this piece here actually comes off. Let's see if I can pull it off with one hand. There we go. So that piece comes off. So I think I'm just gonna, uh, take my cable back out and then shorten this where I need it. Probably mark it with a marker or something and cut it off there. And hopefully I don't mess it up. Yeah, hopefully I can get my piece back on there. It was at this moment that he knew. He fed up. I'm an idiot. I messed it up. I took this piece off of it and then tried to cut it. And then once I tried to get this piece back on there, this thing just flared out. It was a real pain in the butt to get on there. I ended up having to cut it a couple more times and leaving the tape on there to kind of hold it from fraying. And then uh, I was finally able to get it on there. But now it's too short to for this piece anyways this piece that i made went on there i put that on there then my line's too short and it kind of fits on here i was thinking about putting some washers on there but then i won't have no adjustment So what I might do is uh, cut me a piece of angle iron and drill a hole in it and weld it to that and make me a new bracket. If I was smart, I would have just read the instructions because it tells you how to do it in there. Right here, it tells you to slide this piece back up on the hose and then cut it. And then you can just slide it down. Super easy. Oh yeah. That's all right. We're gonna keep on going here. I'm just gonna fix it. Just gonna fix it. We're just gonna fix it and keep going. Yes. All right, I found me. This is an old bed rail. I think I'm just gonna cut off a piece of that. Make me a piece out of that. All right, I got the piece cut right here so let's go try it put it on here and see what it looks like so I'm just gonna put it probably back here like it uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to bend it some you see how this is kind of at an angle where it's facing down towards the throttle body that one's kind of straight, so I'm going to have to try to bend it. Try to match this one. Alright, I got it bent to the shape that I want it there. So now I just need to drill a hole in it. Now I just need a... Uh, Take this off and weld it. Got some little vice grips holding it on there. I got it square there and my hole lined up in the middle there. I'm gonna go ahead and weld it on there. on there so now I'm just gonna uh, cut off all this other stuff there it is it ain't the prettiest thing but I think it'll work so uh, let me try it on here we'll put the cable on and see what it looks like
think that'll work. So now I'm gonna take it back off and uh, paint that thing and then I'm gonna get it back together. I got the bracket painted. It's sitting there. It's dry already, so uh, let me grab some tools and we'll go put that on. I got it set almost halfway in the three it's there so I have a little adjustment back and forth if I need it all right I decided to take it fire extinguisher off of there and wedge just stick on there because that held it a little bit tighter because there was still just a little bit of play with that holding it so we got that nice and tight now I'm going to uh, open the throttle body all the way up and uh right here where this little thing is and that we'll put a put these vice grips to hold it tight and then uh we can go ahead and put our cable on all right guys before i cut this thing i went and got the instructions unfortunately and uh read it to make sure i'm doing everything right and i am it says to depress the throttle pedal to the floor and hold the throttle body at wide open throttle position so that part i got right whoop whoop all right i got my piece in there uh, i got the throttle got the stick back on the throttle again I'm just a little bit shy there, so I just have to adjust this. Loosen that one and tighten this one until it's up against there. And right, now I'm going to make sure that we're getting a uh, full 100% travel there. So I just got to turn my key on. sensors there's the TPS right there that zero so uh, let's see if it goes to 100 100 that's all the way to the floor so Alright guys, we got the uh, throttle cable on there and it took twice as long as it should have because I didn't read the instructions like an idiot but uh, either way we got it on there, we got it did so I guess that's it for this one, Till next time, see ya!